Docker Compose changed the game a decade ago by making it easy to define and run multi-container apps. And now it's doing the same for agents and agentic applications. With just a compose.yaml file, you could now spin up models, tools, and agents fully containerized and compatible with frameworks like LangGraph, Crew AI, and today's focus, Spring AI. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to set up and run a Spring AI project using Docker Compose, how it integrates MCP, the model runner, and more. We're also gonna break down the architecture flow so that by the end of the video, you'll feel comfortable exploring even more projects from the Docker Compose for Agents GitHub repo. Let's go ahead and take a look. Before we get started, you'll want to make sure that we have Git installed, which you could have downloaded from here for either your Mac, Linux, or Windows machine. Next, you'll want to make sure you have Docker installed. I have the Docker desktop installed, and you can get it from this site here, whether it's for either your computers, Mac, Windows, or Linux. And last but not least, make sure you make note of this GitHub repository, which is for the Compose for Agents demos that we'll be cloning from. And the code we'll be looking at will be for the Spring AI project, which is right over here. And do note that one of the requirements for this video is a laptop or workstation with a GPU. Once you have Git and Docker installed, you could just verify the installation by checking the version. For Git, simply type in git hyphen hyphen version and there you go it's showing the latest version of it and for docker pretty much the same thing now if you install docker desktop all you need to do is bring up the app and go to your menu bar and select docker's desktop and about and the version of the desktop will show up now that our environment's set up there's only three steps that we need to do in order to get our Spring AI project running. That is to clone our repository. And I could just come up here and just copy this URL and simply type in git clone, paste it in. The second step is to just navigate into our compose directory. I'll just use a shortcut for the asterisk and we want to go into the Spring AI subdirectory. I could take a quick peek by listing the contents of the directory and compare it to the folder here. And that looks like it matches. So the third step is to simply run Docker compose up. I'll give permission. While this is running, I'd like to point out that within the Compose for Agents repo. The directions for running the projects are here. And the project we are interested in is Spring AI. And there's even more specific instructions right over here that you can follow. Now we'll speed up the video, but to summarize what happened, after I ran Docker Compose up, it built the Spring AI app, launched the containers, and initialized the DuckDuckGo tool. Based on a question placed in the YAML file, the app used MCP to search DuckDuckGo, received the results, and returned a complete answer with references, as you see here. So now let's look behind the scenes. I'm going to go ahead and open up, using VS Code, our project folder for Compose for Agents. And it's within here, under Spring AI, and the Compose YAML file is where our question is that's going to be sent to get some answers. Now let's walk through this architectural step-by-step -step so you understand how the Spring AI demo works under the hood. At the top, it all starts with a question, something the user types in. The question is passed into a Spring Boot app, which powers the back end of our project. From there, the question is handed off to the Spring AI chat client, which is where most of the action happens. Now, the chat client has two main jobs. One, it sends the question to an LLM through the Docker model runner. And two, at the same time, it checks whether it needs more info from a tool like doing a web search. If a tool is needed, the chat client uses the MCP tool callback. And you can think of it as a plugin system. It knows which tools it can use and how to call them. 
That callback sends the query to the Docker MCP gateway, which acts like a traffic director for a tool request. In this case, the tool is the DuckDuckGo search API, which lets our agent look things up on the web. Once the tool gets the info it needs, like a search result, it flows back up. So from DuckDuckGo to the MCP gateway, to the MCP tool callback, and back to the chat client. Now that the chat client has everything it needs, the original question, the LLM's answer, and any external tool results, it combines all of that and sends the final answer back to the user. And that's the magic of using Spring AI with Docker Compose to run an intelligent, agentic application. And that's a wrap on getting started with the Spring AI agent project using Docker Compose. Let me know in the comments which agentic framework you've used or want to see in another video. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you did get value out of this, you'll also want to check out this video here. Thanks again for joining, and I will see you in the next one.